I'm going to use the ASC Basin feature to uh, quickly grade a basin into this open space area near these lots. Uh, it'll look similar to the basin out here near the collector road. So um, first thing I'll do is switch my view to a plan. I've got a save view called Basin Design. And I've already got an underlay that I want the basin to follow. So I'll go ahead and um, trace a 3D polyline along that, that area. So I'm already on the correct layer here. Um, I'll go to uh, the uh, draw panel and click the 3D polyline, just an AutoCAD 3D polyline, straightforward. Uh, and I'm just, you don't have to snap or anything. I'm just gonna pick some points here freehand and put vertices where I want uh, elevations uh, to be applied based on the surrounding ASC uh, generated um, design data. I'm going to follow this radius here uh, because it's big enough to allow for uh, vertical change without creating a bow tie effect in the uh, basin uh, graded geometry. And a few more vertices and you can have mitered corners here. And I'll put a intermediate vertex there and I'll type C to close it. So if we uh, switch to an isometric view, you can see that we've basically just created a 3D polyline down here at a zero elevation. Um, so now we can define that as a basin in ASC. So we'll go to the grading tab under define and you're prompted for some information there. You can take the defaults or enter what you want. I'm going to uh, leave the volume required uh, blank. Uh, freeboard depth, I'll use one foot. Maximum depth, three. Bank slope, four. And now it prompts you to select the 3D polyline. So you just select the, the polyline you drew. And the vertices are processed by searching the surrounding ASC design data. And you're prompted to place the label. You can see that the basin has come in up here in 3D. That's the framework of the basin itself. That'll be used in uh, the finished surface. Now you're prompted to place the basin label here. So I'm just going to place it down here uh, in the flat area. But it will end up at uh, an elevation equal to the bottom uh, seven, uh, 17 or the 1174.7. So now I've got the basin uh, basically created here, graded out. <clears throat> so at this point, uh, you can build your finished ground surface by uh, making the ASC surfaces toolbar visible and click the ASCFG build 10 only button and the road models, the pads, and the basins that are defined. Uh, and any uh, grading uh, objects that you have or have created with Civil 3D or other programs or manually can also be included in this finished ground surface. So you can see here the slope labels for the basin are showing. We could turn those off by clicking that. You could turn the framework for the basin on or off if you have to do some adjustments to it. And you can create uh, basin uh, slope overrides, which we'll look at a little bit later. But uh, we basically got the framework and uh, the surface uh, of our basin built in now.